This section is designed to help you think about the support people need in order to take part in your community conversation. It's important to think about the things that might stop people from taking part. And then consider what you can do to help overcome the barriers. It's important to ask people what their support needs are in case there are any that you have overlooked. For example, there may be a language spoken within the community that you were not aware of. And you should always include funds for this kind of support in your grant bids, for example, for childcare costs, interpreting costs, or out-of-pocket expenses for transport for people with very little money in the asylum system. So here are some things to think about. The time and date of the meeting. There's no point in organising an event when the community you're trying to reach may have other cultural or religious commitments, such as during Ramadan. The venue and the location of the meeting must be in an area and in a building that people feel comfortable using and is accessible to all. Particularly, they need to be able to get there by public transport. You might need to provide transport in terms of getting people there who are on low incomes or childcare to enable women with young children to take part. Language is very important. This may involve producing translated information in community languages before the meeting and interpreting at the meeting. And digital access is something you should not make assumptions about. Although most people these days have access to a mobile phone, they may have never used it to join a Zoom meeting or another digital conversation. This may mean that you'll have to provide instructions on how to do this in advance. Do what you can to overcome the barriers that people face. You may not always be able to remove the barriers, but it's important to consider them to see what you can do to help yourself or perhaps with the help of other agencies like the Refugee Council or community workers. You should also consider whether it might be helpful to offer some kind of incentive to attend, for example, a consultation event that also has cultural activities, food and refreshments.